In this video, we are going to explain about how we creating a new product in Auto 13. So take a look on sale module. Here we can see the product. By clicking the product, we can see all our available product to us now. And if you want to create a new product, click on create button and we can see the window for creating a new product. Here we can define a name for the product and we can see the two options are enabled, can be sold and can be purchased. It defines that we can sell the product and purchase the product. And in the general information, we can see the product type here. There is three type of product types that are consumer product and service product and storable product. Consumable product means that does not want to keep a inventory management on that product and services that are providing to our customers and storable product means it must want to keep a inventory on that product and if we click selected the storable product we can see the changes we can we have this all options for on hand and reordering rule etc because it want to keep the inventory management and uh, here we can select the product category and we can give the internal reference for this product here and we can specify a barcode for this product here and here is the sale price for this product we can specify a sale price for this product as what which in which value we are giving the product so 100 rupees we are selling this product and we can give a customer taxes here and we can specify a cost for this product by clicking the update cost we can specify a cost for here is 15 50 rupees here is the cost of the product and by applying the cost we change it to 50 and we can define a company for here if we didn't define a company the product will appear to all company and if you want to define the product in a particular company you can define the company here then you can only see the product in my company and in the variant we can set our product variants here and in the sale tab we can see invoicing policies there in order quantities and deliver quantities if we set it in order quantity you can invoice as soon as the sale is confirmed and if we, if we set the delivered quantity you want to validate the delivery first and in the purchase tab we can see a add line for a vendor we want to add a vendor for purchasing the product here we can add a vendor for this and we can define the vendor product name the product name of the inventory and the product code from our vendors inventory and product variant if you have the product variants we can define the product variants and delivery lead time is a time taken to delivery the product and quantity here we can define the quantity and we can set the unit price of the product and we can set the validity of this vendor and we can save the page and in the inventory tab we can see operations and in operations rules there are two type of rules here buy and replenish on order and if we set it in buy it means we are purchasing the product from the vendor and if we selected replenish on order mto mto means make to order we selected this uh, the route become make to order and here we can see the the customer lead time uh, this is the time taken to delivery the product to the customer and here we can set the logistics of our product weight of the product and the volume of the product and the responsible user and here we can set the traceability for the product if you want to trace the product by unique serial number select this and if you want to select trace the product 
by lots you can click this if if you don't want to trace the product just click the not tracing and here we completed all our tabs and we save in the product so we have created the product almost and we can check the product in our all product there will be our product here is our product demo by clicking this we can see our all details of our product we are given and for updating the quantity on hand we can click the update quantity here we can create the let manually create the quantity here by saving the quantity become 100 we can see in the product the on hand changed to 100 and the first forecasted report is become 100 and we can see all our sale order and sale details in the sold tab and here is option for giving the reordering tool for the product so we are giving a new reordering tool for this product by creating we can see that the product name demo or product name and the minimum quantity maximum quantity and the quantity multipliers minimum quantity is the stock level of the inventory we are setting if we want to automatically update our quantity when the stock level is below the minimum quantity and if we want to set the maximum limit for the triggering rule we can set the maximum we want to set the maximum quantity here and the quantity multiplier is the procurement quantity will be rounded up to this multiple and we can set the company here and the lead time is the time to purchase or the time to the day to get the product set here and by saving the reordering rule we are setting the reordering rule to the product and in the near there is a need needs the trigger or uh, rule will trigger automatically and here in the purchased we can see if we make any purchase orders for this product we can see the details here and this is how we creating a product and configure its on hand quantity and reordering rule etc thank you